Exbury was built in 1726 and covers over 200 acres. Country estates in the 18th century were all about the vistas. This remarkable cedar of Lebanon was planted in 1729. That's nearly 300 years old. Can you imagine, you know, the people that planted this tree would never have seen it looking anything like this. Lionel de Rothschild bought the estate back in 1919 and began collecting on a global scale, employing some of the world's most renowned plant hunters, including George Forrest and Frank Kingdon Ward. Frank Kingdon Ward was summoned by grandfather and Kingdon Ward said rather pathetically, but Mr. Lionel, it's my wedding day today. And he says, well, get married and then come straight down and you can go on honeymoon tomorrow, but I need you now. <laughs> he built an arboretum at the top end on the other side of the road. Um, and in order to make the holes for the trees, they didn't have mechanical diggers in those days. They stick a stick of dynamite in and boom, up it comes. And then they pop the tree in. I mean, simple, really. <laughs> Grandfather would make copious and detailed notes about where he would plant his plants. He knew the garden intimately. This area's drier, this area's got more clay, this area's got more gravel. And if a plant wasn't thriving in one place, he'd up it and he'd move it and put it in another place to try and get it right. Many of the plants found by the plant hunters can be seen here at Exbury in the gardens. These include original specimens brought back by Frank Kingdon Ward of Rhododendron Piercei, Rhododendron Arizelum, and the pink lotus tree, Magnolia insignis, brought back by George Forrest. Plant hunting is a tradition that continues today with head gardener John Anderson taking an expedition to India in 2010 to collect seed which has since been propagated, ready for introduction into the gardens. On, on the way up the mountain, in the sort of the almost subtropical region, this little uh, ginger we saw growing by the side of the, the gravel track, so I collected a couple of seeds, and uh, here we are uh, a few years later in flower. That could be a really good garden plant, couldn't it? It could be. Now the next thing is to try them outside, is to harden them off. Yeah. Get them out, go through a couple of hard winters, and make sure that they, they are not going to be that hard enough. It's great to see that the Exbury tradition of collecting and preserving plants continues today. And who knows, maybe this little Hedicium will be in all of our gardens in a few years' time.